Welcome to another episode of Dick's Small Engines and this little episode we're going to have a butcher's at piston rings and more specifically how to set or check and adjust your piston ring gap. So let's get into it. Right, piston ring ring gaps. This is a, for, as an example, a bridge and track and horizontal track three horsepower engine. Now, what you want to do, firstly, is get your piston ring. This is the top ring marked out off of the piston. Make it into the ball. Being as gentle as you can. You don't want to break the ring, you don't want to damage the ball. Now that's in there. Let me turn you around because I'm not sure how you can see this. That's in there like so. Next thing you want to do, get the piston. I've left the comrade in situ. I've left the second ring and I've left the auler ring in situ. But what you want to do now is get your ring make it onto that top ring in the ball and apply a bit of pressure lock so all that will do is seat the ring in the ball and and square it off so we get an accurate reading of this uh, ring gap get yourself a set of feeler gauges very very inexpensive now on a on a new um, um, new uh, new rings on most small engines are somewhere between excuse me three and ten foul uh, on the feeler gauge. So obviously these are old rings, so I'm going to go somewhere in between that, which will be I don't know. We'll go for seven. Seven foul there. All you want to do, get your feeler gauge in, make it in between that ring gap. It's got to be a bit of resistance, and it's nice and snug. Not quite snug, so I might go for the eight foul. This is just for peace of mind as I'm rebuilding. Put the eight foul in. Far more resistance there. Not sure how I can hear it, but I'll keep me gob shut now as I'm doing this. You can hear that resistance. I'm sure you can. Now, if the ring gap was too big, what we'd want to do is it's not alarm bells by any means, but we perhaps need over well we would need oversized rings uh, and piss them, and we'd have to hone out the cylinder, bore out the cylinder. If the gap was perhaps too small, we could, we could file it down. Certainly, with new rings, we could file it down uh, to the uh, manufacturer's spec. Um, obviously, if if the gap was too small, we'd uh, new rings as well or if the gap in general is too small uh, you're not going to get that uh, all flow um, sorry lubrication into your cylinder which obviously with the heat exchange could in some cases cause the rings to snap uh, which isn't good um, I'm not sure if I mentioned then if, uh, if the gap is too small, it can be filed down to spec. So in a nutshell, there's not much to it with piston rings, um, piston ring gapping uh, more specifically. Uh, so if you enjoyed this little episode of Dick Small Engines, give us a like, share and subscribe. Until next one, take care. It's right off now.